All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over glycogenolysis. So I know it's been a while uh, since I last uploaded. It. It's because I had finals and doing a lot of research and whatnot. But now it's finally over. Finally get a break, so let's get on with it. So thank you again for 600, over 600 subscribers. It means so much to me. The support lately has been amazing. So thank you so much. All right, so in the last biochemistry video, whenever that was, like ages ago, uh, I went over how to make glycogen. And so please watch that video before watching this one because you need to understand before you break up something, you kind of no need to know how to form it. Uh, so in this video, like I just said, we're going to go over breaking up glycogen and making glucose. That's what glycogenolysis is. Now, why is this important? You learn this stuff in biochemistry, right? But when are you, when is this actually implemented in your body? Now, first, what is glycogen? Well, glycogen is basically... It's simply, honestly, just large glucose molecules that are chained up. So it's multiple glucose molecules that are chained in a long chain. And that's what glycogen is. And it's a way to store energy. Okay, so think about it as a currency. It's like a bank. Okay, like a Bank of America or Wells Fargo from the U.S., right? It's a bank for energy. Now, for us to actually use this energy, we cannot use glycogen in that form. We need to break it up into glucose and then we can use it as energy. Okay, so it's a bank, right? You have to withdraw the currency, which is glucose, okay? Now, when does this actually happen? Well, glycogenolysis happens in the liver primarily. It can also happen in skeletal muscles, but mainly the liver. Now, if blood glucose is low, Glucagon, which is basically like a hormone that's secreted in the pancreas from the alpha cells. This is like endocrinology. Don't worry about it. But when glucose, blood glucose is low, glucagon gets secreted. And when this is secreted, it travels to the liver and basically tells our liver, liver hey, wake up. It's time to break up glycogen and make glucose. So that is when basically this happens. And obviously, low blood glucose is a bad thing right? Your cells do need glucose to survive. So step one, step one is we take glycogen, which is basically just a bunch of glucose molecules. Okay. And what we do is we're going to add a phosphate molecule to it and using an enzyme called glycogen phosphorylase. And what this phosphate basically does, it basically karate chops this molecule. Whooshing, okay. And slices it up and basically steals or breaks up one glucose molecule out of it, okay? But the phosphate group gets transferred onto uh, carbon number one. Okay, so as you can see, the phosphate group is on carbon number one. So we call this glucose one phosphate. So once again, this phosphate group and this enzyme karate chops this, right? And cuts off this glucose, one glucose molecule, not the entire thing, just one glucose molecule from this long chain that we call glycogen. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, here's step two. Step two, we're going to use phosphoglucomutase and convert glucose 1-phosphate to glucose 6-phosphate. So all we're doing is mutating the molecule. It's in the name, like in the enzyme name. We're moving this phosphate molecule to carbon number 6 right here. So it's over here now. That's it. That's all we did. Pretty simple. Now the last step. The last step is actually broken up into two separate steps in a way. We have two options here, depending on the concentration of the molecules. So glucose 6-phosphate can either enter step 2 glycolysis and make pyruvate, or, as another option, it can use glucose 6-phosphatase with water and shred off the phosphate molecule. That's on carbon number 6. And we get normal, you know, normal glucose. Okay, so this is the usual like pathway, right? What we talked about. We can make glucose, right? Or we can completely skip step one, right? Because remember, in step one of glycolysis, we go from glucose to glucose six phosphate, but we're already there, so we can just enter into glycolysis of step two and make pyruvate. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? So you have two options. Okay, so we can now. Say if we go for this option, right, glucose, right? We can transport this to anywhere in the body, okay? We can trans whatever cell that needs to go to, the glucose will go there and we can use it there, right? Or we can just go straight into glycolysis and fuel that cell that we're at. 
So once again, basically the water cuts off the phosphate. Okay, with the enzyme six glu uh, glucose six phosphatase, and that is it. It's pretty simple, actually. No, it's not too bad, right? Well, until next time, later.